Hey guys, I just started studying for the Palo Alto Network Certified uh, Security Administrator exam. And in my lab, I have a PA820. So I need to upgrade the, the firewall to the version that they're using in the study guide, which is version 10. And in here on my screen, you can see that I'm on version 9.14 right here. And what we need to do is upgrade to 10.0, right? So the important thing with upgrading firewalls uh, from Palo Alto is you need to know the upgrade path. The upgrade path is important because they tell you exactly how you should upgrade depending on the version you're currently on. Because I'm on 9.1.4, I need to install the preferred version of 9.1 before I go to 10.0. So if we look at the preferred, preferred version for 9.1, you see it's indicated here with 9.1.12 as the preferred version, and it has the uh, latest maintenance release. So what I'm gonna do is head over to the device tab, and then down below, there's a software tab, and you can see the there's no update information available. And that's because once you click on software, you have to then click on check now down below. So we'll do that, check for new software as it updates the, I mean, checks the uh, update server, and we should see a list. Yeah, so here's a list of all the software versions available. You can see I have downloaded 9.1.0 and 9.1.4, and 9.1.4 is currently installed. So what I want to do is go to 9.1.12, which is right here. You'll then click on download. And of course, if you're doing this in production, you'll want to read the release notes prior to doing any upgrades so you're aware of what the changes are, the bug fixes, and any caveats that you might run into. So as this downloads, we'll then have the option to install this update. And uh, when you go to 9.1 to then 10.0, it's a, it's a newer feature release. So it'll have different, uh, it'll look different. Uh, there, there's different features there. And so Palo Alto recommends at least updating to the latest preferred, preferred version before going to a newer feature release. So my goal is to head, head over to 10.0, eventually over to 10.1 later release to test th those versions. But I want to be up to date with the certification exam study guide. So we'll wait for this to hit 100% and then we'll be able to uh, install this, this software update. All right, we have now successfully downloaded that software 9.1.12. Then this page will refresh, it's downloaded. All we have to do now is click on install. You'll get the progress bar. And when it completes, it'll prompt you to reboot the firewall. So that's why it's recommended to perform these steps after hours, after business hours, so that way no one is impacted. Now, if you've got firewalls that are in an HA configuration, uh, the users may not even see the downtime at all because you can upgrade the standby, fail over to the standby, make that one active, and then you could upgrade the, the new newly standby firewall. So this is fairly quick for 9.1.12. It'll progress all the way through and then it will reboot. So we'll pause and then check as soon as it is complete. Okay, so the install completed and that progress bar just went away as soon as it was done. And now you're being prompted to reboot the firewall so it can um, use the new software and so to do that, just remember this impacts all traffic going through the firewall. We're gonna click on yes and wait for the firewall to come back up and see that it is, uh, we confirm that it's running 9.1.12. All right, so it's gonna reboot. I don't know if you could hear that, uh, the fans kicking in in the back, but we'll check back in as soon as it is back, as soon as it is back online. All right, after some time, you can see uh, we are now running software version 9.1.12. So it took a while for the whole process to complete. There was the um, software installation, the reboot, 
and then the web service coming online. So the reboot did take a while, but what also takes a while is for the HTTPS server to boot up and start accepting logins. So there we have it, an upgrade uh, for the Palo Alto firewall. Be cautious with your upgrades and I hope you are successful in, in them in your production environments. Thank you guys for watching.